I'm your host, Rocio Lopez. And I'm Leo Bryan. We'll watch the Rams as they dribble their way to the state championships. We'll munch on some Oreos and slam some poetry. <laughs> A few of our very own have put together a wonderful montage of all the hijinks and crazy antics that go on behind the camera and the hoops and the hurdles of pre-production that go into making an episode of IDTV. Can anyone say Benny Hill? We're going to start in five, four, three, oh, two, take camera one. Welcome to IDTV Behind the Scenes. We will show you how the students from Broadcasting 148 and 149 work together to produce the show IDTV. Aaron here behind the scenes of IDTV and we are inside the Art Extension Building at City College of San Francisco, the Broadcast Electronic Media Arts Department to be exact. And we're going to take you inside. Oh no, we're not going to take you inside. I have the biggest smell ever, so it's made for TV. <laughs> Hi, we're actually inside the International Student Office right now. We are with... Ijaz Adam Balonch. Okay. Hi everyone, Aaron here. We're behind the scenes at IDTV. We're here with Leo Tiger. Or do you, wait, I can take that again. Do you, do you want to be called Josh? Or, uh, Sorry. Um, hi everyone, I'm Rani, and I'm here be for behind the scene of the IDTV. And now I'm here with... A Okay, let me go. We're just gonna say so hard. He's being lazy. Whoops. Who turned on the light? I think you did. Oh, there was a light? Wait, who turned on the light? In an effort to win their second state championship in three seasons, City College of San Francisco's men's basketball team took it to another level this season, dominating their opponents throughout the conference schedule and staying undefeated all the way up to the California State Semifinals. However, staying perfect is no easy task, and on St. Patrick's Day weekend, the Rams saw their quest come to a tough end in a heartbreaking 87-85 defeat at the hands of Chafee College from Rancho Cucamonga. Let's take a look now at the 2012-2013 season through the eyes and words of Rams head coach Justin LeBaugh as we highlight City's run to the Final Four. I'm Justin LeBaugh and you're watching IDTV. <laughs> At least 50 
to almost 70% of our job is navigating these guys through junior college. And, you know, I, I'd say life, but we don't want to come in there and try to be a parent to them or a big brother. Uh, we want to hold them accountable. And we'll hold them accountable if, you know, if they jump the BART stop, you know. I mean, that everything counts. We tell them in the first meeting, everything you do counts. I just think because there's so many eyes on them here and, you know, and everybody else on the team kind of falls in line. They don't want to drag us, you know, that we, you're only as good as your weakest link here. And so even the bottom guys and the guys that got in a lot of trouble in high school, they don't want to be that guy because we'll get rid of them. You know, navigating these guys through junior college is, I would say, the majority of this job. These guys come and go and we get them graduated to their schools. That's kind of the reward for us and for them. But as a staff, you know, you get there, you get there, you know, you want to win it. You want to get in there and, and, and have all the hard work end on a W. We're right there. You know, DeLon, you know, arguably could be the best player that's come through the door in the last 10 years that I've been here. And, you know, so that, you know, talent-wise, that, that says a lot. Um, we, we've had some incredible teams here athletic-wise. This one is right up there. It's probably not the most top to bottom, but as far as a team, it's, it is, it seems like right now, you know, the best team that we've had. Quincy Smith has probably been the biggest surprise. You know, he's, you know, I think if we had him last year, just with the same players, that we win the whole thing. His toughness, he brings it every single day. I mean, he, I mean, DeLon does too. But, you know, now to have two guys that just don't take days off, that is so contagious. And he's been just, you know, you know, just a pleasant surprise. This team is a lot more unselfish, um, tougher. Uh, not last year's team was was very good, but we were finesse. And when we ran against a team that uh, ran up against a team that was you know elbows and you know kind of checked us a little, it was it was a toss up what what these guys were going to do. Uh, this team throws the first hit on every single game, uh, and they are like you said they are detail oriented, which is a huge difference from last year. The middle of December, we had a very tough schedule, and we, we set it up to be that way. And after we got through that tough, and we got, we went on the road and, and beat some teams. You know, I figured that we are, we're only going to lose one or lose nothing.
So if you haven't heard of the viral YouTube channel of Oreo Oration, then you're in for a treat. All you have to do is grab a new Oreo flavor and post your personal critique on the web. That's right, Christian. So the internet's Greg Miller actually created this uh, Oreo oration. He created the whole idea of it, the, the, um, the scale, the review scale, the 20-point scale, 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, 1.5, 2, 2.5. You get the idea. And so we're going to follow up and give our own review today on birthday cake Oreos. Exciting. And yeah, as you can see, this is a birthday cake flavor. We've got little funfetti colors in there. Awesome. Frosting. Have you ever tried this before? I've never tried the birthday cake flavor. I'm more traditional with the Oreos, just the regular cream and chocolate cookie, but. Just the old, the classic, the standby. Exactly. Yeah. But I'm excited. Yeah, well, as you can see, I already helped myself a little bit here. Um, but, you know, let's, uh, let's go on to the first look at the opening of the Nabisco Seal, or the reopening, I should say. Let's see. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect Beautiful. seal. Retains Beautiful. the freshness of the Oreo cookie. Jeez, and there yeah, it is again. You get that, a, sm that, get a uh, strong smell yes, of it. The, uh -huh. the bouquet. <laughs> that smell of the Oreo, man, it's overpowering. Um, get lots of the, the frosting, mm -hmm. um, the funfetti frosting. Mm -hmm. That, uh, you know, similar like to the cakes, you know, you've had those before? <laughs> I have, I have, and I like those too. So. Yeah. So, uh, well, should we try it? Yes, please. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna take one aside. It looks like. All right, here we go. Huh? <laughs> uh, got a little, little frosting in there. You got the little colors, orange. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It's a strong chocolate taste to it, but yeah, the cream is probably my favorite. Yeah, no, it's a quite the well balanced. Mm -hmm. uh, you got the chocolate, and then you got the frosting. It's mm -hmm. a sweet cookie. Mind you, but uh, you know the flavors balance really well together, mm -hmm. and uh, definitely a great, delicious cookie. Let's see uh, how it pairs with milk, though, shall we? Yes. The next step in any Oreo oration. The dunk test. Right, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> you know, awesome. Nice and saturated in there. Mm. 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 -hmm. Mm. That's good. That's nice. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. The milk really brings out the chocolate characteristics of the cookie, I'd say. Um, exactly. Kind of, kind of masks the uh, the frosting a little bit, but it's great. No, mm -hmm. delicious. It's still I'd really say. Good. I've tried, uh, I've tried the 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 white cookie variant of this, uh -huh. the white cookie on the outside, and that one's phenomenal. I'd say um, that's one of my favorite Oreo cookies. But uh, <laughs> here we got an amazing cookie as well. It's great um, it's very What's yep. that? I say it pairs well with milk. Absolutely. Definitely. Let's do the uh, twist test. There, perfect. Two or three. Perfect. Always. Perfect. Now you're trying. <laughs> Got a double stuff right there. Ain't no thing. Yes. Well, to the final review, Christian. What do you say? Um, if I had to rate it, I would definitely give it a 9.5. It's 9 definitely 5. one of my favorite Oreos I've ever tasted. Absolutely. Gotta love the chocolate. <laughs> I've got to agree. This is beyond a good cookie. Uh, it's great, in fact. <laughs> so I'm going to give it a, an amazing 9.0, ladies and gentlemen. So you heard it Woo! first. 9.0, 9.5. This is an amazing cookie. So once again, folks, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Keep on dunking. Go buy your birthday cake cookies. <laughs>
Brian Spark Poetry. And slam poetry is really a fusion of traditional poetry, but now we're taking it on the stages and performing it and putting emotion into it. And a lot of times the somebody performing on stage is gonna give you something to think about. It's gonna it's gonna sound entertaining as well as uh, let you know something. Alright, performance and go. I'm having a party. I blew up a cat and a pig. Now I have blood from a cat and a pig all over the floor, and I'm acting poor. Now I will blow up a fish gut mixed with an explosive burrito. I'm having a party. It's really crazy. I'm very dazed. My good sir, pass me more of that red wine. I'm <laughs> doing induced by my Oktoberfest. I pass out dreadfully. The world is blurry sleep. I, I kind of pull from all over to, to teach the craft that I do. I'm kind of living my dream right now, running my own spoken word and poetry organization where I teach uh, slam poetry. The students here have, as their teacher says, raw talent. And today we will see a live performance of raw, some of the students without further, uh, without further ado, let's welcome our guests. Hi, I'm Nina. I'm Lucy. Hi, I'm Alana. I'm Ariel. So ladies, what made you all interested in poetry? Why not basketball, track, other sports, swimming? Nina? I really like poetry because you are the maker and you can take it any way you want to. So it's just all yours. There's like, there's no rule. You just write what you feel. It would definitely be because in poetry you can express how you feel, but in sports you can't really do that. Just the concept of being able to write something, but not having specific guidelines for it. And Alana, how long does it usually take you to come up with a piece? Well, in school, Mike has us do um, quick writes, which takes about five to 10 minutes, and he lets us put it together, which take two minutes. But at home, he usually ha it takes like an hour or so. Okay, and Ruthie, do you do it on your own, or do you have help? Well. I do have a lot of help from my teammates, um, these guys, air girls, and um, my um, best friend, Bethy, Reese, and Izzy definitely helped me. And Mike and his friend, Josh, are really good influence on us. Cool. So. Ariel, what do you think is the best part about slam poetry? Just being able to say what you want and not having really anyone judging you by like how you look and just they just see how you feel. Cool. And Nina, how is uh, competing? Do you ever get nervous? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> get nervous. But we just know that we all have the team, and the team is always supporting us, and we just do our best, and that's the best that we can do. So. All right. And Ruthie, what do you think, what's a good way to calm those nerves, if you get nervous? Well, um, when you go on stage, you're like, and you're with someone else or by yourself and it's like a fiery poem, you get pretty much, the nerves go away and you know that your teammates are nervous too and you just go through it all together and believe in yourself and the team. Great. And Alana, are you feeling pretty confident for your next competition? Yeah, I'm really <laughs> excited about it to be able to share our new poems that I think people will really like. That sounds awesome. Well, you guys are ready to give us a little taste of some of the stuff you've been working on, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sweet. We can't wait to hear. So please, Nina and Ruthie, start us off. Okay. I'm not scared. I know you're the hero, but I don't have to get saved, because I'm brave. I'm not scared. To die with the debt, I have to pay off. I'm not afraid to do what you want me to do as a daredevil will do me to the death. I'll be the secret slice saving hero that doesn't need to be protected because I know I'll never be the one people expected. I'll slay the dragon when the hero's feeling lazy, which might sound crazy, but it's true. Because when I'm on stage, they boo, not knowing someday I'll be their only hope and love to cope with me. I'm not afraid. Just face me and pace around me with your lace undone. So, so I can trip start. you. Just go on a ship for a dip to your destiny of death awaiting you beneath the bottom. I'm fearless. Stepping through every dark place, racing and pacing through tides, not screaming once during a roller coaster ride. 
Because if you collide with me, you might as well already have your pants wet. Because, because I can set this place aflame like the hero has his own parade and a serenade. The hero has more fears than anyone, because his job is not just fun. It's a daring, daring duty that's perfect for me, and then people would see, I'm not frightened of anything. I'll go high heights and spread my wings. I'm not scared. I'm used to getting dared. I like to risk. All you need is a brain and a fist. And a sword and a wrist swinging silently in the mist. And I never miss! I mean business. When I hear fear, I sharpen my spear and put on my gear and get ready. I'm ready and steady like a sturdy steel stage. Intense! About to end the last page. Of the last chapter. Of the last book. Of a trilogy! It might end after this! I'm afraid of the end. When Lord Voldemort knocks me down just like a clown when it's in its barrel. Wait, shh. Did you hear that? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm a little bit scared. Just a bit. Scared of clowns with big shoes and red noses. And the dark and hard bark. And not being chosen. And monsters under my bed where my head lies. Spiders! And snakes! Drunk drivers! I'm scared to talk in front of people! Kind of. Decaying bodies. Porta potties. Very scary. My friend lying. Being blind. Getting left behind. Yeah. Even dying. dying. It's, it's terrifying. terrifying! But I can face my fear. In the face. Looking at dead in the eyes. Fear can't get the best of me. For I can't take over the rest of me. I'm scared, scared but I'm also, also strong and brave. And I may not behave, but I can be here. And overcome fear. And, and so, so can you. Thank you, ladies. That was great. Thank you. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first show of IDTV. Come back for our next show with Rocio and I later in the season. Ladies, Alana, Ariel, you want to take us home? Sure, sure. We're running out of time. We're running like we're the fastest, hardest, off the charts. And if you even try to think those thoughts of yours that you're brilliantly, basically better than us, we'll, we'll prove, prove you wrong. wrong. Speak it or put it in a song. It's your choice. So let's marvelously make some noise for the A team. That's us. We're running out of time. We're trying to rightfully reach our goal. Sleep on coal or split our soul in two. That's what we'll definitely do. Because we knew that was coming. But we're prepared. We're, we're running, running out of time. time. We're not going to tell you what. Yeah, yeah we're, we're playing, playing that card. We're going to positively play it hard. Because we put down an ace, and we're about to solve the case of gratefully getting, getting what we want. We'll hit, push, shove, and, and times if we have to. Because we're the kind of chicks who get what we hoped for. So don't take us off. We're, we're running out of time. Five, four, three, two, two wait. There's, There's no more time to waste. waste. The clock stopped ticking. No more waiting for the bell to ring. Put down your watch. Stop, stop drop, and roll. Because we're in control. control. And we're not letting go. Ever. Until time runs out. Nice job, ladies. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing with us. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for yeah. asking. <laughs>